Tired of having to take too long to kill a boss? Well, today I'm going to be showing you guys my one-shot build for Amara that you guys have requested. So without further ado, let's jump right into it. Asifa, this is LazerBolt. Today I'm going to be sharing with you guys my one-shot Amara build. And this thing automatically wrecks. If you want to go and fight a boss and don't want to spend too much time on that boss fight, or just want to kill him in less than 10 seconds, then this is the build for you. Not only is it a pretty good boss build, but it's also pretty good for mobs as well. So let's find out exactly what pieces you're going to need in order to make this build work. Because there are certain pieces and certain guns that I'm going to have you look for in order to make this build perfect. Now, I spent a couple times farming a specific weapon, which I'll address a little bit later in the video. And I wasn't able to get it. But if you guys have it in your inventory and you're on the PC, hook a brother up, man. Because this is going to allow you to one-shot the boss. And it's just OP as heck. But before we get started, I do want to remind you guys about our giveaway. We're giving away two free copies copies of shadow keep for the system of your choice to enter and participate it's super easy all you have to do is click the link down below where it says join bull nation and you guys will be automatically entered so good luck to everybody that's participating in addition to the giveaway we also have awesome emotes that you're able to use across youtube once you join the bull nation and the awesome looking laser bull badge which when you guys comment in the comment section down below, I will automatically reply if you have the laser bolt badge. So definitely something to consider. I want to give a massive shout out to everybody who has already joined it. Thank you guys for joining and supporting the Bolt Nation and making us even that much stronger. All right, so let's go ahead and take a look at this build. We're going to get started with the skill trees. We're going to be using Mystical Assault. We're going to be using a little bit of Fist of the Elements. And of course, due to the fact that our class mod has a little point for the green tree, which is Brawler, it's going to give us a little bit, but not that much. But the main focal point here is going to be Mystical Assault. We're going to get started with that. So let's start off with Do Harm. This is going to give us our Rush Jacks per action skill. So we're able to stack this 10 times. Anytime we kill an enemy, it's going to grant Amaro a Rush Jack. So if you kill 10 enemies, you're going to max out in Rush Jacks. And what that's going to do, it's going to allow Amaro's action skill damage to increase every single time you get that Rush Jack. So just pretty much kill, kill, kill. And you're going to be able to stack this up. Of course, we're going to be dumping five points to that. Next up, we're going to go with Violent Tapestry. Applying status effect grants Amara a stack of rush. Activating her action skill consumes all rush stacks for every stack of rush consumed. Amara's status effect chance is temporary increased. Now, remember, they're repairing this one with do harm because we're already stacking up the rush. This is just giving us one additional point so we could consume that rush and get a little bit of bonus when we're doing that. Then we're going to do Transcend. Amara gains increased accuracy and critical hit damage. We're not so worried about the accuracy. We're more worried about the critical damage for a second after activating her action skill. Because that crit hit damage is going to give us a plus 27. Accuracy doesn't really matter. We should be able to control the accuracy without a problem. So we do want that crit hit damage to increase. Then we have Restless. Amara gains increased action skill skill cooldown rate this is going to be very important and crucial because we want to make sure we're using our action skill as often as we possibly can the next one we're going to be using is ascendant we're going to be putting one point into this one all action skill augments gain increased effects this is kind of like a requirement almost every single time you want to gain that increased effect whenever you're using your action skills the next one we're going to be looking at is laid bear enemies take increased damage from all sources for a few seconds after being damaged by amara's action skill now what you're going to notice throughout the gameplay we're always going to be using our action skill first before we begin damaging the enemy that is so we could apply this laid to bear and we're going to be dumping three points on this one our damage increase is going to go up plus 25 percent next we're going to be dumping three points into wrath amara gains increased gun damage this effect is increased after she activates her action skill remember what i said earlier just a few seconds ago you want to use your action skill first before you start damaging the enemies because that's going to trigger this wrath it's going to give you plus 20 gun damage without you even using your skills but once you activate the action skills, it's going to give you another plus 20 after your action skills. So giving you a total of 40 gun damage after that action skill is activated for 8 seconds. Next, we're going to be putting a point into Remnant. When Elmara kills an enemy with a gun or action skills, she creates a homing projectile that seeks out enemies dealing her action skill element. You're going to notice that a lot of my gameplay, I am shooting the ads with the solar weapon and there's a little bubble that pops out and seeks out the other enemy. This is really effective and it helps you out a ton when you're doing mob killing. Next, we're going to be dumping three points into Awakening. Amara rush stack gain increased effectiveness and it's going to bump us up to plus 30%. And next, we're going to go with Avatar. Amara's action skill can be activated while it's in cooldown. Remember, our main focal point of this build 
is us using our action skills as much as we possibly can. This is going to give us kind of like a double dipper when it comes to using that action skill because we'll be able to use it very often. In addition to that, it's also going to increase our max rush stack. And the cool thing about this one is if Amara's action skill kills an enemy, it refunds half of her rush stack. So make sure you do your action skill, kill enemy, leave someone almost to die, use your action skill again, make, get that kill it'll refund that rush stack because we're going to be needing that rush stack to create a chain to give us that maximum DPS. All right, so now let's jump into the skill tree Fist of Elements. We're going to start off with the first one. We're going to do Anima. Amara's status effect deals increased damage over time and have increased duration. Now we're going to be dumping five points into this one to give us as much status effect as we possibly can. Next up, guys, we're going to go with steady hands this is going to give us more handling more accuracy of course whenever we're fighting a boss we want to make sure we're hitting those crit shots so we're done three points into that one next up we're going to go with tempest amara deals increased elemental damage shock damage is further increased it's going to be very important when knocking down those shields remember high end content is going to require you to do a lot of elemental damage and that shock damage is going to be super important then we're going to go to wildfire when Amara applies a status effect to an enemy, it has a chance to spread to nearby enemies really good as well. Knocking those shields, putting corrosive damage, solar damage is just really good one to have. Then we're going to go with indiscriminate. We're going to dump three points here. Amara's bullets that damage enemies have a chance to ricochet and deal decreased damage to other nearby enemies. Once again, you guys are seeing the synergy here. We're tapping into the fact that we'll be able to bounce things from the enemy we killed onto another enemy. That's the whole point of this particular build we're putting together then we have deep well amara gains increased magazine size of course we want to have as many bullets as we possibly can then we go with sustainment amara gains lifesteal whenever she deals elemental damage with her weapon lifesteal is what's going to make us a little bit tanky for this build where we're not going to be going down as often and last but not least guys we have conflux now we're not going to be dumping any points on here because we're actually going to be taking a look at the required items that you're going to need to actually make this build work. All right, so let's go hop on our backpack and check it out. So the gun that I was mentioning earlier is the Hostile Crossroad. Now, the Hostile Crossroad is an amazing weapon. Now, the thing with the Hostile Crossroad, you want to make sure that you get an anointed one, but not this one that I currently have right now. Like I said, I was farming for this one like you have no idea, but I was not able to actually get the one that I wanted Basically, what you're going to be looking for is you're going to be looking for the one that's anointed that has this anointed action skill that my laser splatter has. On action skill and deal 125 more weapon damage to badass names, bosses, enemies for a short time. This is something people never tell you. It's like, you know, you see people killing ads or killing bosses, but they never tell you the reason why they're killing them so fast. Now, if you guys noticed on the beginning of my clip, I was killing the boss really fast. But if you actually were to get this one right here, the hostile crossroad with this anointed perk, you're going to knock the boss like almost in one complete shot. So definitely keep in mind, guys, if you want to get that one shot build, you want to make sure you get that crossroad with that specific anointed perk. Now, as far as other weapons are concerned, anytime that you put a build for Amara you want to run as many elements as you possibly can now usually my rule of thumb is to have one of each I have a solar a shock a corrosive and a radiation one that's usually the way I go but it's just a matter of finding the right weapons right now I've been searching mostly for anointed weapons that actually buff Amara or buff any other character so we'll have a video going over all the really good ones that I found so you guys are definitely going to want to check that out now that we already looked at the weapons let's take a look at the gear now for the shield we went ahead with the recharger now there is a better version of this one I think it's called battery recharger or battle recharger I'm not 100% sure I think I have to check the spreadsheet once again uh, I still haven't been able to get that one but that's the best one you want to use for this particular build but if you have a recharger already this is not that bad it's going to instantly begin recharging your shield once it's broken so really good one to have as you're going to be using your shield quite often now for class mods we're going to go with the face seeker now there is another face seeker here that I don't have and that's the one that gives you weapon damage and also gives you assault rifle damage. I haven't been able to find that one, but this is the one I have. Basically, any face seeker is going to be key here, so you want to make sure you have that as far as that section. Now, as far as grenades are concerned, uh, you're going to be able to use anyone like the Stormfront or the Hex. These are really good, but you kind of want to use Shock or Fire. Those are the best elements. You could knock those shields as quickly as you can. Last but not least, guys, for the artifact, you're going to be looking for anything that gives you a damage boost and increase of any sort of elemental weapon. 
that it's going to be super important for this particular build. And that is rounding up the whole build. Now, if you guys put this build together, I want you to do me a favor. Send me some clips of you killing the boss with this particular build on my Twitter feed. I'll definitely reply. And what I want to do is maybe make a compilation of all the kills you guys have been able to do with the specific builds that I put together. So you guys can find my Twitter handle down in the comment section down below. Send those clips over. I would definitely love to check them out. Now, we are planning on doing more builds. If there's a specific build for a specific character or something you guys would like to see that you haven't seen already let me know in the comment section down below we'll be more than happy to work on a build that actually is a little bit different than all the other builds that are out there so please do me the huge favor of letting me know that also in the comment section down below don't forget guys if you ever want to watch how these builds are made or just want to chill relax and have a fun time check us out over on stream we stream on facebook and mixer so definitely would love to see you guys there and chat it up thank you guys for tuning in but that is our amara build i hope you guys enjoyed it we'll have more multiple builds coming your way so make sure you guys stay tuned